hi guys and welcome to a new vlog. Eeyore also says hi, I think. Hey man. She wants to be in the window because I'm sitting right in front of it and she usually has her morning time where she sits in the window and looks out. I do believe some people call it cat TV. So yeah. Yeah, I'm starting a vlog today. I wasn't, or well, I was planning to then decided not to and then decided again that I wanted to but yeah I am drinking masala chai today not my regular Earl Grey tea and if you haven't noticed or well this video is going to be the second video that I have done this with and that is that I will be hopefully posting a video or vlog every Saturday or Sunday so hopefully being consistent will be helpful to grow my channel but also so that maybe you can expect or know that oh on Sundays or Saturdays there might be a video every week and I do hope that it will also give me a little bit more way to plan videos because I do have a schedule to follow so I do hope that it will work out but I don't want to speak too soon also I haven't read anything at all I read two pages yesterday of my book I haven't read anything I haven't been able to concentrate at all to be honest I have been very very tired this week for some reason I'm not sure why I have mostly been sleeping to be honest so I haven't read anything haven't been able to concentrate but I did however draw a little bit last weekend I haven't drawn in a long time or as I spoke in my art vlog I haven't painted or drawn a lot so I am hoping to today maybe draw a little bit more but yeah, I, I am hoping to sketch on some paintings that I want to do. I do have kind of like a commission. Uh, someone was interested in one of my or two of my paintings and wanted me to and wanted me to make them for her, but in different color schemes. And I'm not really sure how to do it with those colors. So I'm thinking of sketching a little bit on my iPad to see if I can make it work. And the two things that I drew last weekend is actually something that I think I want to turn into a painting. One of the paintings, well, drawings, is of my sister and my mom's dog. It was a photo I took when we were celebrating my little sister's birthday and I just loved that photo so much and I haven't drawn a dog since I was a child. So I am, I was surprised at how good that dog that I drew looked like because I, I haven't drawn animals or dogs or cats or anything since I was a child. So I was very pleased with it. So I'm thinking of turning it into a painting because I was very pleased with the results and I, I do really love that picture of them. So yeah i can i'm sitting here talking about paintings without showing you i can hmm. now that i look at them i'm not sure if i want to show them hmm. i mean they're not perfect of course but these are the two drawings that i want to make paintings of this is my sister, this is my sister, and that's uh, my mother's dog. And this is basically just me experimenting a little bit. And I'm thinking of turning both of these to paintings, hopefully. But now that I look at them after a few days, I'm not really... This is something that I struggle with, and I do believe it's not just me but a lot of people who draw and paint that the longer you <laughs> look at the painting and especially after a few days you realize that they're kind of ugly <laughs> like you might be satisfied 
in the moment but after a few days or a few hours your your entire view changes of them so now i'm not really sure if i want to paint them <laughs> uh, if also my cats are jumping and playing like idiots in the background i'm sorry but, but yeah and that's a little bit about what i want to do today it is however soon about to be lunch so i'm probably going to eat some kind of lunch i'm thinking of just frying or pan frying some apples and cinnamon and just eat them with some yogurt but yeah i mm, now that i look at them i'm <laughs> This one I'm kind of proud of because I haven't drawn anything like it before or I haven't been very experimental, I guess you could say. But the more I look at the other painting or drawing, I just, I'm kind of still proud of the dog because I haven't drawn a dog in such a long time. But my sister looks, yeah, it could be better, definitely. But now my cats are going crazy so i'm going to end my ramblings here and start making lunch Will be here. 
I am, yeah, I'm, I'd say I'm happy with it. I do really like the pink against the grey. I was a little bit indecisive about what color to have on the background, but I do believe I'm satisfied right now at least. So. I showed my mother my painting and talked a little bit with her and now I am nervous and anxious because I started thinking like, yeah, I think I want to go to art school and now I am nervous about it and I'm also not sure if I should apply for this year because I... I'm still very unstable. Applications have opened recently to the art school that I have looked at. And there actually is a art school in my town. So I don't have to move anywhere and I don't have to travel very far. But I am <laughs> nervous and anxious now because I started thinking about it. I am starting to wonder which artworks I am going to include in my applications if I do send in an application and that got me nervous and anxious in some ways because I looked at the portfolios that were on the website of people who are currently um, studying there and the artwork is very good and I feel like eh, I'm not going to get in and then also you're supposed to write a personal letter about why you want to go to the art school and I'm not sure what to write. Like, do I mention that I was sick for so long? Should I explain it in the letter or... I, I'm not sure because I, I think I need to mention why I haven't been working for eight years basically and also explain why I haven't painted in eight years. So I'm not sure how to go about it and I am kind of looking at my artwork and thinking like this isn't enough. This is, as I said, I'm nervous and I am, as I said, I'm not really sure if I'm going to apply for this year because I am so unstable and I, at, at the same time, I am getting excited about it and I'm not sure if I want to wait another year. But I might have to. I'm not sure what to do. And I have talked about this before. But I am very worried about 
following a schedule. I guess you could say I, I do thrive on having routines, but I'm more so afraid of having to always be present at 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock. And I am scared that I won't be able to handle it. I am very worried about if I should because I am so afraid of getting very, very sick again. And it's kind of made me scared to push my limits almost. But at the same time, I don't want it to hold me back because I really, really want this. And as I said before, or have talked in my other videos, I, I am finally kind of realizing that I am almost certain if I am going to study, it's going to be art or history, maybe. <laughs> but I'm still afraid of getting sick again. At the same time, I'm thinking that I got nothing to lose to try. And I would most likely gain a lot from this experience. And, and I just want to get going, basically. But I am afraid of getting very sick again, which is, of course, a possibility. But I also don't want it to hold me back too much because I don't want to regret not going to art school or at least not trying to go to art school. So I'm looking over my artworks and thinking about what to put in my application if I if I decide to put in an application, I'm going to have to talk to someone about this. I'm nervous and scared a little bit. Mm. how tired I am I am exhausted but yeah I am going to end the vlog here thank you so much for watching this vlog I hope that you liked it so yeah thank you so much again for watching and I will hopefully see you again in my next video bye